Hi, it's Dan Jones. Thanks for stopping by. Carolina Real Estate Experts here. So why is it a good time to buy and sell real estate coming up in the months of October, November, December, and January? So we go through this every single year and the absolute best time of the year for the least amount of competition are the following months. So October, November, December, and January, most people will say this if they're looking to buy a home. Dan, I'm going to wait until January or February and I want to put my home search on hold, right? Even if I have to re-sign a lease or whatever the circumstances are, I'm going to hold off on purchasing a house, right? And we always have the conversation and the folks that listen truly do benefit from buying around this time, right? So if you've been looking to buy a house or you're thinking about buying a home, a little bit about the current market. So the better homes that are priced aggressively tend to fly off the market extremely fast. And during the summer, spring, early early part of the year, these, these homes can get four, five, 10 different offers, right? But as we get to November, December, and January, most people fall off the face of the earth and pick up their search in February, March, and April, okay? So with that, there's gonna be so much more less competition in regards to not having to deal with multiple offers and going well over list price and actually being able to negotiate on your new home purchase. Now, if you are a seller, okay, so on the flip side, right, you still have to be priced aggressively, but they're, the only buyers that are out there right now are very serious buyers who actually wanna take advantage of the market and purchase. There are no tire kickers. It's not like selling your house in April, May, or June where you might get 30 people you know, and only 15 of them are truly serious looking to write an offer on a home versus just kind of seeing what's out there and floating from open house to open house for the next, you know, year or two. These are very serious buyers. We know it's an inconvenience to put your home on the market during the holidays, but you can actually dictate who and when and how your home's going to be shown. If you have family in town, you can hit hold for a few days on showings, right? There's so many things, so many aspects. But if you wait until March, April, and May, there's so much more competition and you could have one home in your neighborhood on the market of a neighborhood of 120 versus waiting till March, April, or May and you're sword fighting with 10 to 12, if not more. We saw a property, somebody reached out to us earlier this year, said, Dan, we're flexible on when we sell. We wanna sell in the next two years. Do you recommend selling the house right now? And it was June. There were 26 properties active on the market in a neighborhood of no more than 140, 142 homes. And I told him, no, let's not sell right now. This is actually the worst time. And we're gonna be revisiting December 1st on putting their home on the market because we know serious buyers are out there and the serious sellers are out there, but all the tire kickers are gone. So if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, right now is a very aggressive time. Buyers, there's only very serious sellers. Seri sellers, there's only serious buyers. So take advantage of this market and don't be caught looking in April, May, and June when everyone else has started their search again and you're going into multiple offers with 10, 15 people. Uh, it's just not the best way to look for a house. And in regards to selling, you're going to get those buyers who are dead serious and uh, who are ready to write an offer and get into your home either just before or just after the holidays. So hope this has helped. Never too busy for your referrals of a friend and family. Uh, let us know what we can do to help. And as always, thanks for stopping by the blog. Talk to you soon.